I'm back, bitches! Yes, I don't know uh, where I have been the past, uh, I don't know, month. I may have been dead. All I know is I woke up and I was uh, dressed a lot nicer and, and I just got the urge to make a video. So, so here, here we are, folks. So you ever wonder what it would be like if your favorite video game characters could all battle each other in a giant deathmatch? Oh wait, there's like six games where you can do that. But those games are all based around fairness and balance, and that's not fun. And besides, those games only use the most popular characters from any given video game. So I came up with my list of the top five video game dream deathmatches that will probably never happen. So, so here, here is, here, play the, play the, play the video! Number five! Shivana versus Volga. I was trying to think of a good matchup with a Zelda character when I first got the idea for this video, but I didn't want it to be something that everyone's already thought of. And Volga from Hyrule Warriors immediately popped into my head because I've been playing that game like crazy and he's also just really badass. And then there's one of my favorite champions from League of Legends, Shivana, the half-dragon waifu, who has pretty much the same exact abilities. I mean, when it's all said and done, Volga is basically just a male version of Shivana. Both of them don heavy crimson armor, fight using melee attacks, have a lot of fire-based abilities, and can temporarily turn into a dragon. Way to rip off Riot, Nintendo. It would be one hell of an epic brawl, that's for sure. Just a hurricane of wings and fire and teeth and boobs. In all honesty, I have no idea who would even come out victorious. In all likelihood, their battle would just spiral uncontrollably into the two of them rage-sexing each other. I mean, we all know Shivana has a thing for tall, spear-wielding warrior types. And this one could actually turn into a real dragon. The winner? Love. Sorry, Jarvan. Number four! Amaterasu versus Arceus. A battle of the gods. Not only that, but they're both gods that have taken on an animal-like form. Amaterasu is a white wolf with a mirror stuck on its back, and Arceus is a white goat that got shoved through a fence. With Ami's dominion over natural forces, and Arceus knowing four of many, many attacks that are available to it, I have no doubt the battle between the two of them would determine the fate of the world for thousands of years to come. It would be a battle across entire continents with forces of nature just crashing into each other over and over again. Amaterasu basically has access to some of Pokemon's most powerful attacks. Blizzard, Thunder, Fire Blast, uh, Cut. But of course Arceus is no pushover either, being the most powerful non-Mega Evolved Pokemon there is, and the creator of an entire region, if not the entire Pokemon world, has got to count for something. If I had to choose a winner, oh man. I guess just based on the fact that Amaterasu can be roughed up by some pretty small-time demons makes her seem a bit weaker. I mean, Arceus is basically a walking weapon of mass destruction, and the fact that it could be coming at Ami as one of over a dozen types means she'd really have no idea what's coming her way. The winner? Arceus. Number three! Slenderman vs. Pyramid Head. I wanted to pick a good horror matchup for this list, so I decided to take the most brutal and terrifying motherfucker from my favorite horror series, Silent Hill, and pit him against the 21st century boogeyman and source of many an urban legend and creepypasta, the Slenderman. The problem is, I have no idea how this battle would even play out. Pyramid Head is a humongous beefcake who moves slowly and carries around a gigantic sword, while Slenderman is tall and lanky with the ability to teleport, and strange tendrils that can be used to ensnare and or kill and or kidnap his prey. But with both of these characters being the object of our terror, the games purposely leave out a ton of details about them in order to make them that much more mysterious and scary. Neither of them have ever been documented as being killed. Pyramid had killed himself before, but any attack made by the game's characters are less than futile. The same goes for Slender. There's no fighting the guy, the only thing you can do is run. I can only imagine it would go down with Pyramid Head slowly walking through Slender's woods, dragging his big ass sword behind him, when suddenly Slenderman teleports right in front of him, and one of a few things happens. Number one, Pyramid Head swings his sword, chops Slenderman clean in half like the toothpick he is. End of story. Two. Slenderman grabs Pyramid Head with his tentacles and kills him or drags him to some other dimension or makes a hentai movie or whatever the fuck he does with those things. And three, their attacks do nothing, and they pause and stare at each other. Bro, we're scary as fuck. Heh, <laughs> I know. Let's go get a beer. Regardless, it would be such a horrifying sight to behold that looking upon their battle would probably cause your eyes to melt out of your face. The winner? Not you. Number two! Kane versus Arthas. This is a battle I've wanted to see ever since I watched the fantasy chess match at an anime convention, and they actually had these two fight it out. 
I don't know why I never thought of it before then, because it's actually an insane matchup for a lot of reasons. Both characters began as privileged members of society and were manipulated into becoming a force of evil. Both wield ancient weapons of terrifying power. Both control extensive undead armies, Kane's being composed largely of vampires, and Arthas's being mostly the zombie type. Both are ruthless rulers of their realms that wield immense power, and I can only imagine that the two of them would need no provocation to try to kill one another should their paths cross. It would be the best kind of fight. A sword fight, but with magic and undead minions. The battle would either take place at the Pillars of Nosgoth, Cain's seat of power in the very source of the land's corruption, or atop Ice Crown Citadel where Arthas rules supreme over Northrend. It's hard to pick a winner because both outcomes would be absolutely insane. If Arthas won, provided Cain still has an intact body, which he might not because you'd probably have to reduce him to ashes to beat him, Arthas could resurrect him as a member of the Scourge, and he would be, without a doubt, Arthas' most powerful general. But option two is even better. If Kane wins, as is the way of the Lich King, as in there must always be one, Kane would become the new Lich King. He would dual wield the Soul Reaver and Frostmourne. Just get the fuck out of here. That's that's GG. Like, don't even try to fight this guy Goku, cause you'll lose. But would Kane actually win? It's hard to say, of course, but he managed to subdue his entire world and push humanity to the brink of extinction, while Arthas got taken down by some heroes. So sure. The winner? Kane, because I want him to. Number one! I see a lot of people asking the question, who would win in a fight between Samus and Mega Man? But I don't think that's the best possible matchup. First of all, you can have a bastardized version of that battle in Smash Bros. But the main problem is that I think Samus would take Mega Man apart without too much difficulty. No, if we're gonna give the legendary bounty hunter Samus Aran a good fight, she's going to have to go up against Mega Man X. Sure, Mega Man's got a hell of an arsenal, but he lacks durability and mobility, and that's where X draws his strength. X has the arsenal of Maverick special weapons to match Samus' array of beams and missiles, body armor upgrades and sub-tanks to endure her attacks, and the agility to circumvent her impressive mobility. I've gone over this matchup in my head over and over again throughout the years, and everything one does, the other can counter, assuming both are at full power, but not counting things like the Hyper Beam or the Hadouken. I'd imagine Samus would be the tougher of the two, based on the fact that the gravity suit allows her to just hang out in lava while X dies the instant he touches it. But the better arsenal almost certainly goes to X. We're talking massive energy blasts of immense power, clusters of heat-seeking missiles, temporary invulnerability, and big-ass tornadoes. She has the devastating screw attack, he has the equally destructive Nova Strike. She can out-sprint him, but he can get out of the way with ease. All I can say is it would be a sight to behold, and since I can't pick a winner, I want you guys to let me know in the comments who you think would come out victorious and why. There's no wrong answer, so just have a fun discussion. Be nice to each other, jeez. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video, and I'd like to also thank you for hanging in there with me. I have something in my eyeball. I'd like to thank you guys for hanging in there with me over these past few months when things have been a little slow around here. But as you can see, Things are different, things are changing. It's a whole new dookie and you're gonna like what you see. You're gonna be really into it. You're gonna become obsessed and you're gonna watch it every day over and over again until you throw up all over your keyboard. And I'm not replacing your keyboard because my videos were so good that you threw up. So, so there. Anyway, if you're new here, thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to my channel or I will kill you!